the store closing down? Uh, actually, the store did not close down. I had to submit for a restraining order to close the store because of potential uh, disturbing of the peace. And the store has what we consider to be some leasing violations. The tribe owns the building. The tribe owns the land. And they lease it to provide a service. The service they're providing was uh, in several ways uh, not good in that they deliberately sold bad meat to the people. Uh, I've had com ongoing complaints about the hamburger, the outside looking good, but the inside all brown. Indian Health Service went up to investigate and found a piece of meat on their shelves that was, date of expiration was February 23rd, and this is May. Uh, they didn't get a chance to chop that up into <laughs> hamburger yet. But uh, the complaints are ongoing. We are getting a lot of complaints on illnesses, people are saying, are related to that bad meat. But we got other concerns also in the prices. Uh, the same corporation owns a store in Rushville, Nebraska, Gordon, Nebraska, and Valentine. And the prices at the store here are anywhere from ten cents to five dollars more than the items in the other stores. When we questioned them about that, they said it's because of the stealing. But we've never seen anybody who's been accosted or anybody who has any charges coming out of stealing. There is no stealing up there. Uh, we are very concerned about the uh, workers up there. They get minimum wage. They are not allowed to work over 39 hours a week. Therefore, they have no benefits. They get no leave time, sick leave or otherwise. And so when they do have to take off work for some reason, they're just not paid. Uh, the corporation that's operating the store in all areas, several, 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 do it for the profit only. <laughs> they, 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 they manipulate everything. Uh, the deliberate selling of bad meat for profit, more profit, is uh, something we just can't stand. We don't know because the local hospital doesn't test for E. coli or uh, salmonella. How many of our little ones, our elders, or in general just the people, were sick because of it? And this deliberate act for money is just not uh, going to be accepted by the people, or myself, or Chief Oliver Redcloud. I have. And I'd like Chief Oliver Redcloud to comment on that. The Nation <coughs> Shopping Center. Okay, on a uh, problem we have in reservation on our store here, Sioux Nation. And the people out there, I'm here for, like, take her, like, hold the people on the tree rights. And this is one of the uh, problems we have today. We are people. We're not just somebody else. We are people, just like anybody in this world. And the food, that they gave us today is not working right. Oh, today, people out there, 40, 46, uh, anyway, population is 46,000, but what the people is Pine Ridge Reservation. And we're the people, we're against that because we have treaty rights. In Article 1, anybody, anybody in this country that against Lakota people, we have to use that Article 1 to get him out. And today, we have that. And Mr. 
Ah, oh. Steele. I'm a chairman here, Mr. Steele, working on that. And we elect him to see everything that was supposed to be run right. And myself, I take care of the treat right. And today, I don't like that. I want that Mashito people out of here, off the reservation, because there's other people could come and run the store. So that's where we're at. So I hope it worked, John. Mm -hmm. But stay with the Lakota people. There's the one. And I have to tell you, and that man run that store. I don't think he do it right. He really ripped off the Lakota people, many other ways, wages, hours, whatever. Because right now in the country, in this country, you have labor laws. They have to go by that. And a lot of our young girls and boys working there, they're complaining too, but they have to work because there's no work here. And that's one of the things they stand. Oh, Bastelo, thank you very much, and I hope you do something about it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, when, when did you um, issue this order? Last Friday. Last Friday. So now, is the store completely closed down? Yes. Yes, and it's been closed down since Friday? Yes. And how long do you think it will stay closed for? Uh, well, I'm hoping that uh, it will stay closed down until we get new management in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, a different company in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just very basic with us that a deliberate act of selling bad meat so little ones could, just general people, a deliberate act of uh, reselling bad meat for profit, what uh, Chief Oliver Redcott made reference to in Article 1 of the treaty is the bad man clause. And any bad man uh, acting within here, we can exclude them. And uh, we're looking into this possibility now. Mm. So, what what do you know the residents think about this, and and what are they going to do for groceries? Because you said the nearest one is what two miles away. Two miles away, and uh, we have uh, our transit authority uh, running up there to uh, help them to get food stuffs. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so where do you go from here? Um, you said you're hoping to get new management put into the building so you can open the store back up. How, how are you going to get there and do that? Uh, well, it's a little process that we will do ourselves, but we're, we've got some uh, very good people working with us in the area of Nash Bench or uh, buoys out, out of Rosebud. Uh, people have been approaching us. and. Uh, would you yourself, when you had deliberate acts such as the raising of prices beyond, beyond <laughs> reasonable, way beyond reasonable, rate, according to the other stores in the area, or in deliberately selling bad foodstuffs, uh, especially meat, uh, would you want that? And I mean deliberate. And this is what the people are very concerned about. Angry. Yeah. Um, What's the name of the corporation that runs that supermarket? It's called Highway 20 Corporation. You know Highway 20 that runs through the northern part of Nebraska? Uh, they've got stores all along there. And uh, uh, they've come up here and been here uh, since the uh, 1970s. Uh, we tried to get them out before, but couldn't uh, because of courts. Have you received any type of response from them about this matter? Have they commented at all to to try to comment about what has happened at all? Yes, sir. Uh, we haven't talked to them directly, but uh, we've had their attorney uh, approach us and say, well, let's sit down and talk about uh, some remedies. Uh, but I ask you, sir, if someone deliberately does that and has, through the past, because I personally bought bad chicken up there in past years. Uh, and it was just stink. Uh, the chicken you knew was bad. And it's been going on all this while, mm -hmm. deliberately. Uh, it's a matter of trust, too. Would you say they were taking advantage of the fact that they were the only supermarket mm -hmm. within the area? 
Yes, definitely, and uh, this is what I told you, in all areas, not just the selling of bad foodstuffs, but in all areas. Okay. I just Thanks. wanted to clarify. Yes, sir. Um, <coughs> I, I think we touched it all, unless you had something yeah. else that you wanted to say. No? Okay. And then if we could just get